In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a trailing stop loss on the KuCoin spot market. This video is not financial advice and is for educational purposes only. If you get some value out of this video, don't forget to leave me a like and hit subscribe for future content. Let's get into the video. To set up a trailing stop loss, we'll come right down here to our order panel and click where it says stop limit. Then from this drop down menu, click right here where it says trailing stop. Now we've configured the order panel. Next, we'll come over here to the sell side of the order panel, and up at the top, we have the option of choosing an activation price. If you don't choose an activation price, KuCoin will default to the current market price. So I'll do a couple demonstrations. In this first demonstration, I won't set an activation price, and I'll let KuCoin default to the market price. The next step is choosing a trailing delta. This is going to be the distance that the trailing stop loss follows behind price action. You can choose 1%, you can do 5% or you can put in a custom amount. For this demonstration, I'll go ahead and do 3%. This means my trailing stop loss will follow behind price action by 3%. Next, I need to choose a price. And I think this is where a lot of traders get confused. So I'll do the best I can to explain this. The price is simply the price point of a limit order that gets placed if your trailing stop loss gets hit. But it's important to note that if there's a better price available on the order book, when your stop loss gets hit, your coins will sell for a better price than what you put in as your limit price. So for example, let's head up here to the chart and let's imagine that I want to choose a price somewhere just below this wick right here. So what I'll do is I'll come over here to the drawing tools and I'll grab a horizontal and I'll go ahead and mark that wick out something like this. Now I can see a price point on the Y axis of the chart correlating to that horizontal at 29,486. I'll go ahead and use that as my limit price. So let's head down here to the order panel and I'll type that into price. I'll go 29,486. This will now be the price point of the limit order that gets placed if my trailing stop loss gets hit. But remember, if there's a better price point available on the order book when the trailing stop loss gets hit, my coins will sell for a higher price than my limit price. So now I need to choose the amount of the asset that I wish to sell if my trailing stop loss gets hit. And for this demonstration, I'll just go ahead and choose 100%. Now that I have this order set up the way that I want it, I'll click right here on sell. Now I've placed that trailing stop loss order. If we come over here and click on advanced orders, this is where you'll find the details of your trailing stop order. You can see in my case here that my trigger condition got set at 30,647, which would have been the current market price when I executed this order. Remember, KuCoin will default to the market price if you don't choose your own activation price. If we come up here to the chart, we can see that Bitcoin's already trading at 30,668 which is above my trigger condition. This means that my trailing stop loss has now been activated and will begin to follow behind price action by 3%. So as Bitcoin continues to increase to the upside, my trailing stop loss will be following behind by 3%. If at any point Bitcoin rolls over and retraces by 3%, it'll hit the trailing stop loss and place that limit order to sell my coins. And remember, your coins will essentially sell for the best available price off of the order book. So in my particular situation, my coins would be selling up here, not way down here, and I'd be locking in my profit. But if the price of Bitcoin started to roll over right here, right now by 3%, it'll hit that trailing stop loss. My limit order will be placed to sell my coins at 29,486 or better if there's a better price point available on the order book when that stop loss gets hit. The key is to make sure that your limit price exceeds your trailing delta. And we can easily figure that out by using the price range tool. So if we come over here to our tools, you'll find your price range tool right here. Just click on this little arrow and then select it from this drop down menu. If we come back over here to the chart and we measure down from my activation price by 3%, like so, you can see that my limit price exceeds my trailing delta. So if that 3% mark gets hit by price action, I can rest assured that my coins are going to sell. If my limit price was above my trailing delta, then this would just simply be placed as an order onto the order book. So in this situation here, price action would roll over, it would hit that 3% mark, and then my coins would be placed onto the order book at 29,907. They won't sell until price was to rebound and come up and hit my limit price. And there's no guarantee that that would happen. 
So I always like to make sure that my limit price is set below my trading delta. That way I can lock in my profits if price goes favorably, but I also have a stop loss if price was to roll over from my activation price. If at any point you want to cancel your trailing stop loss, come down here, click on advanced orders, then over here on the right hand side, click on cancel. And as you can see, I just removed that trailing stop loss. Now I'll demonstrate a trading stop loss by choosing an activation price. So we'll come back up here to the chart and let's just imagine that I want to use this wick up here as my activation price to activate my trailing stop loss. I'll go ahead and quickly grab a horizontal here from the drawing tools and I'll mark that wick, something like this. Now I can see a price point on the Y axis of the chart coming in at 31,433. And I'll use that as my activation price. So we'll come down here to the order panel, make sure we're set to trailing stop, and I'll type that price point into activation price. We'll go 31,433. Now I need to choose my trailing delta, and I'll just do the same thing. I'll go 3%. And then I need to choose my limit price. And I'll use the same one as before. I'll go 29,486. Now I'll choose the amount of the coins I wish to sell if my trailing stop loss gets activated and then gets hit. And for this demonstration, I'll choose 100%. And now that I have this order set up the way that I want it, I'll click right here on sell. And now I've placed that trailing stop order with an activation price. If you come over here and click on advanced orders, you'll find the details of it. And you can see right here under trigger condition that my activation price is 31,433. So the price of Bitcoin will have to reach 31,433 before activating this trailing stop loss. Until that condition is met, my trailing stop loss is not active. Once the activation price has been hit, the trailing stop loss will begin to follow behind price action by 3% or whatever trailing delta that you select. If we grab the price range tool and we measure down from the activation price by 3%, we can see that my limit price exceeds 3%. So if the price of Bitcoin comes up, hits the trailing stop loss, but then suddenly reverses by 3%, it's going to hit that trailing stop loss and sell my coins. If price carries on to the upside, then the trailing stop loss begins to follow behind price action by 3%. At the end of the day, you'll have to do your own technical analysis on the time frame, as well as the asset that you wish to set up a trailing stop loss on and choose parameters that make the most sense for you. But that's how you set a trailing stop loss. And there you have it. That's how you set up a trailing stop loss on the KuCoin spot market. If you got some value out of that, don't forget to leave me a like and hit subscribe. Also feel free to check out my other KuCoin tutorials, which I've put together in a playlist on my YouTube channel. Thanks so much for coming by and checking out this video. Looking forward to seeing you in the next one. And until I do, have yourself a powerful day.